Okay, we've got our pan head back here. We're working on uh, trying to make it run. We put a different distributor parts in there. Somebody took the stock distributor and cut the piss out of it right here. And pretty well destroyed it. So I put a used base up under here. They still got the butchered top hat on there, but we can live with that part. So now we actually have a working stop here that works. You're missing some parts there. Where do we rest the parts at? The spring's over there. Oh. Yeah, they're not, they're not supposed to be that flimsy. I never put it in last night. That's where yeah. I stopped. Yeah, well, that makes a difference on starting. It wobbles around. <laughs> that affects the timing a little bit. <laughs> I guess it does. So anyway, it was running really good on one cylinder for about two seconds, three seconds, and then it shut off on itself. The other problem is he has a lot of angle to the bike because he's got this long front end on here. So the bike has a lot of lean to it, which is another problem. So take that kickstand I just pulled out. Where'd it go? Okay, this is a soft tail kickstand. I laid it up on your bike there, and let's see what the difference is. Oh, wow. The I, leg can't is, even, I can't even make it flush. The leg is about the same length. But the angle is so much more... Because the soft tails are 7 inches ground clearance, so the FLs are 5 inches. Yeah, you can't even make it flush. Now, wow. Holy moly. Will that make a difference on the bike? Probably. I didn't even really think about it, but I think it would. We still need to bend the leg down even further and put it back over there. Really? I don't want it to be straight up and down. It won't be. You're unloaded. When you pull up in the stand, what happens? It sinks. It goes up into here. This one only comes up on an inch. How much does that one come up? Uh, gosh, I can't even make it. You can't move it? Okay. Well. Well, this one actually buries itself, see? Yeah, it really goes up, yeah. Alright, so we need to pull that off, put that up on there, and see what happens. So lean up here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do a lean job. Okay, I think you're right. Yeah, it is dragging. Okay. Yeah, block wood right there. That'll be fine. Perfect. Alright, let's get the kickstand off. We're going to do a little uh, maintenance on the bike before we do regular maintenance. In the meantime, this needs to be bent some more. I'm going to bend it right here, put more of a bend in it. So we're going to take this thing apart now.
Do you have a, a Torx? A Torx uh, head? For what? One of my bolts is a Torx. What? Yeah. You got a jet bike here now? No, I took it off my old Dyna. <laughs> Don't let it get any tighter than that. Tight? That's a little tight. Oh wow, I thought that was a little loose. No, you only got about an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of free play. I thought you only needed like between three eighths and three uh, three eighths and three quarter, right? Yeah, you only have like three sixteenths here, you ain't got no quarter inch. Oh. Yeah, it's a little snug. I don't know if that's a tight or loose spot. Yeah, it's on so he redid the brake, his line here, and made a custom U-bend in here. Look at that. Well, you know, it's better than the old one. It is better than the old one. I would give you that. But um, the right now, according to the cam lobe on the points, mm -hmm. it's on the the rear TDC. And that's where you set it last night. No, I set it on the front TDC. But right now, I just looked like a few it's minutes ago. Not supposed to be on TDC anywhere. Well, it's on the rear cylinder. So we got it's on the wide low. So you got a broken plate down there. Yep. And that's the part that does all the holding of the bike weight. Is this one here? These two bottoms do all the work because it pivots off the top two. So these are two are trying to rip out. That looks like it happened once. And you've already ripped out the one. So you got to make sure you put a nice good washer on the back side so you got good support because that plate has got some issues with it. <clears throat> Great, more hidden stuff. What do you got for bolts? Junk? Yeah. Oh, those are nice. Oh, that is some quality hardware there. Look at that. It's bent. Do you pay extra when they're like that? I don't know. I guess you do because you need to buy new ones. Man, those things are haggard. Those are all galled up threads. I think they're just galled up from getting kicked. I think it gold up because of junk. All right, let's go ahead and do some more work. <clears throat> You're in charge of this. Okay. Okay, I went and found a nice used one here. Oh. So we're gonna take this. You're on the wrong side. You see, it's been previously used. Mm -hmm. Might have done this more than once before. So we're going to put a little bow in this thing. And that's an old FL stand? It's just used, kicks used when I got laying around. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is going to come chasing out after us. So I'd recommend don't stand too close. That'll slow down the whipping through the air so it hurts you so bad it'll get you. Uh -huh. You got the F-250 on there now? Is that enough of a bend? Tell me more, huh? Got a lot more than it had. Yeah. I don't know, what do you think? Give us another inch. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's not enough. We gained an inch here, we get an inch on the stand itself. Way too close on the camera too. Oh. So, it's a starting point, we can go more. 
so we'll try that. It looks like the foot's going to be about almost about the right height here when we're done. So pretty close. So I'm thinking we can probably get away with a little bit more than what we got. Destroy my one more block. Look what you did to my block. Oh. Jeez. I thought you used these blocks for this. I use blocks for all kinds of things. <clears throat> this just happened to be today's use. Hmm. Oh, so that's like a F650. About 10 tons of pressure there. Drops about eight and a half on the bends. Oh, so you got like a dump truck going over it. That's some original bending now, so now we're going to be on the tip out here now. So anyway. Cool. When it goes down flat, it might be here. So, so now we have a pronounced offset built in now. Yeah. So we pick a couple inches here, a couple inches over there by this angle here. So that's about a four inch difference. So that'll be from here to like this now. So It'll look like a real chopper. You can always come back and fine tune this over here if I want to bend this a little bit here so it has a pad that sits flat. Oh, will that really make a difference? It keeps you from digging in the ground so much. You already see they were digging in the ground on this one right here. So. Yeah, that's how you leave that big mark when you're kicking, so huh? So it's always like this on the bike. So. Depending on where we come in at, we can bend this here and <coughs> make it more on the ground flat. Mm. So, Wait, you so you're going to use the back off of that guy and that kickstand? We're going to take this apart. We're going to swap out some components. Oh, okay. So this is a... Uh, See how tight they did from the factory? Yeah. Is that tight enough? That'd it, never fall off, would it? Eh, I don't know how much those new ones vibrate. Obviously not much by that. <laughs> now this is going to come chasing after me, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to hide behind this tire. Oh. <laughs> Mouse drop. <clears throat> He's trying to get me. I'm going to put this on the bike. Do you want to or do you want me to? Well, we're going to have to modify some hardware over here because your hardware sucks. So, see there's another problem right here. This is not flat. <clears throat> see when I pull this down flat, see the big gaps under here? Oh. So that, yeah. means, that means this is all bent to hell. It is. Probably from uh, being tightened under the frame. Probably from previous uh, installation errors. <clears throat> I'm sure none of those happen around here. No, I put this thing on. I actually have another, an, a whole nother, um, what do you call it? That's called a bracket. Yeah, whole nother one. That's actually four. For this, uh, not year, but for a pan head. But I didn't put it on because it was really rusty and nasty looking. Oh, so rusty and nasty is better than worse than this. <coughs> well, I didn't know how bad this was. It wasn't this bad when I put it on. It's a. Uh, so as previously air was not as bad, now it's getting worse? I think so, because I've probably kicked it a thousand times. <coughs> really angrily. Yeah. Oh no, that's actually from my my drilling. <laughs> I did that this morning. <laughs> this plate is bent too. No shit. Dang. Well, there's nothing we can really do about that, huh? That's probably why this is bent. Because it got tightened onto there and then it got bent to fit. What takes this on off? Uh, lots, of lots of wrenches. I made it so it wouldn't be take apartable. So now we're gonna try and take it apart. Hello. 
What's up? I think it needs a 11 sixteenths. I got one. And here. Three and five eighths, it's not three and a half. Okay, I'll have to go look. Wow. Okay, we'll be back. Okay. We'll be <clears throat> Bracket. Appears to be unflat. 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 Well, if the frame plate is not flat, this thing is just going to get torqued down and get bent again. Unless we put like a piece of metal between it. I'm going to do one thing at a time. First thing you do is get this flattened back out. Does it look flat or no? More or less. Yeah, there you go. So it's more or less flat now. <clears throat> now we come back out here. See more or less how bad this is. <laughs> Quick disconnect back there. Too. Okay. <laughs> you good? Ah, that bastard. Oh, that stupid ass rock. Yeah, I hate that. It hurts my knee. I know it. You can out there attacking me. <laughs> okay, where's your hardware at? <clears throat> Here. Here and um, there's probably another one somewhere. There were three. You sure? Yep, I am sure about that. Any evidence of it? It's probably around here. Probably find it when we're going home. Oh, here it is. Oh, there it is. Oh. Extra short. Yeah. Was it extra short? <laughs> I don't know. Strip out extra quickly. I think, but you know, fun fact. You see how it's blue? That's not fun for me. And the bike is blue. See how I can't prepare? That's a fun fact. See, I can't prepare. See, I went about hardware. Yeah. See. I think I just used those because those were the ones that came with this pile of parts when I bought it all. Uh, that hole looks like it's extremely screwed up. There's something in that hole that's not supposed to be in there. It looks like there's a lack of threads in there, too. Grab me that flashlight over there. Right on. No. Oh yeah, I forgot about the light. Light comes on when it feels like it. Oh shit! It looks like the bolt broke in there. That's why it's so short. Yeah, it that. broke. Look at that custom bolt. It fucking it broke. Wow. That's been cut. That's been cut. Well, maybe there's no threads in there. And that's called, someone tried to get that out with an easy out. It failed miserably. Oh, well, maybe it didn't break on me. And that means you got a lot of issues on mounting your frame. So that needs to be <coughs> properly removed, which has already been butchered. They already un improperly did it. And there's no threads in there, so that means this wasn't doing much. This is pretty much make-believe here, I bet. Just barely got something holding it. Barely. All right. So there's a couple threads in there, but ain't much other than that. So, <clears throat> my guess this is probably bent out a little bit too, possibly, which is not helping the situation around here. All right, there, you're in charge of that. So you got a, basically a custom bike here. It's a piece of crap. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I didn't bring any lock washers with me. 
Here, we're we'll gonna be a box of lock washers. He's way over there. So you got everything in boxes, so I got quick access to it. Okay, grab me a 3 8 lock washer. Isn't that 3 8 or 9 yeah, sixteen? See a difference between those two? Oh, yeah. One's better. This is the kind of stuff that comes in hardware kits that you throw away. This one's okay. And this is a nice, good American one. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This one here is a nice one here, too. There's some more nice ones here. <clears throat> how many do you need? Uh, we, it takes three altogether, but we don't know how many we're going to need. Here's one more nice one. Look at that. We're getting like all new ones. Yeah. You're going to bucks up this bike. Look at that. There's a used <laughs> one. Here's some more vintage ones to match. Patina on your bike. Okay, there you go. People pay for patina, I guess. Ah, shit. I got a million dollars to wash it there. <laughs> okay, so. Let's find some more rocks to put my knees on. You don't want to put like a little pad under your knees or something? No, I'm too busy working to do that. Okay, I'm gonna guess we need something short. I'm thinking these are probably too long to do what we need to do. About a quarter inch too long. That's why I use the ones like this length. Length we got to deal with on this. I'm guessing it's not much. Okay, now the other one over here looks like we got a little bit of length we can go. But I bet, I bet you this is too. It's already bent too. If you look at it, it might be. <coughs> might work. Okay. Get tight. I think that one is okay, we got two in there pretty good. Yeah. This one here. <clears throat> We're gonna use the other tools. Uh, I gotta use your crappy tools because you didn't bring mine over. Oh, those are right here. Do you want them? Uh, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna see what happens with this one. Okay. Okay, it actually torqued. <laughs> kind of, eh, but it's on there. Okay, that's mounted. Yeah. This still sucks under here, but we'll deal with that. Okay, we're not using that. Where's the other one at? Right there. Wow, look at that, them holes line up. Still pretty bent. I think it's because the frame. Yes, it bent the whole plate when I tightened it. Mm -hmm. I could tell when I was doing that, it was not happy. Is it possible to put them on, put this on slightly before we put that on, and then, oh no we can't, because those two are underneath. So if you notice how it sits, you got a gap on this one over here. Yeah. So you put a washer right here. <clears throat> that way it'll work better. Oh, oh, that's why my bolts were bent because it... And it's also going to help us on our height because it's going to make it go down further. Yeah. So you do everything that helps you, not hurt you. And some washers. Maybe we'll luck out and find some crappy washers to use that are thick. Oh, that's a good thick one. Well, we need a nice good one over here. Here's another thick one. Yeah, we need something nice on the back side under here, see, because you have no bracket. Yeah. So I'm thinking we're going to use this one in here. But then we need a thin now bolt. We, we can actually go quite a bit or bigger. Thin nut. We can actually go a little bigger one, see how that varies up in there further. Yeah. So we have room to go even bigger. <coughs> so we need something big and thick. That's big and thick. There we go. How about that one? Will that fit? Oh, yeah, it'll fit. <laughs> yeah, man, let's, let's try this one. <laughs> How about that one? Here, that's a good thick one. He said big and thick. Yeah, that'll fit in there. <laughs> Dumbasses. See that? That might fit. It will yeah. fit. Look at that. That's a genuine Harley washer. It is? It's that bolt. So it's something good and thick. So that's going to go under there. That's going to us good support. It's nice and strong. Uh -huh. It's uh, the same thickness as your thin ass plate. So we're going to use that on that side. How can you tell it's a Harley washer? Because it's made good. 
need some piece of crap like this. Oh yeah. See the difference? Yeah. You could make two washers with the one washer here. Yeah, well, I'm gonna make a good one out of that one. Okay, I need some good bolts. What do you got in good bolts? Whatever you have here, because obviously my bolts aren't. Your bolts suck. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Okay, see, look at that. So if we go like this, like that, put that on that, pull the snot out of it. It might hold. It'll hold. Bolts a little long though. That's okay. We have some shorter ones here. That'll be my foot tag. How about a metric one? No. You'd probably go with that. No, 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 no. I'm sure how that got stuck in my American box, but <clears throat> see, I know it's metric by just looking at it. Okay, you didn't bring your nuts with you though, did you? Those ones? That one. They're all on that the one ground. Junk. Over there. Let's go grab me a nut box. Fine for it. Fine for it. Oops, nuts. Oh. I got one good. Okay. Grab the nuts. Alright, that's good. Fancy camera work there, boss. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. There's a <clears throat> coarse nut with a lock thing on it. It's a little close. Yeah. I don't know what those you got. I don't know. What are these for? These crown ones? These are locking nuts, mechanical locking nuts. Oh. They work really well. There's a fine thread. Hey, look, it's the same color as my bike. Uh, Did you steal that from me? You leave that on your nut. There <laughs> you can have it. No charge. <laughs> Then I'll give you in there. <clears throat> yep. It's hard to find a buck for the paint job, though. Yeah, fine thread again. There's all the good coarse nuts where you need one. That's the mid? That's three A's. Okay, there's one there. What's that? That's a phone ring. That's a phone ring. Okay, we'll be back. We're looking for some nuts. I found it.